Hi and welcome to NET Vapor Reviews. Today's review, as you can see, is from my summer break location in Malaga, Spain. Um, today I wanted to address an issue, vaping and travel. Since it's the first time I went on holiday after, well, for a period of time, over a week, um, since I stopped smoking, I thought I will talk about travel and vaping. So I'll do a short video uh, on my experience, what I took with, how I traveled, and it might be helpful to other vapors who are thinking of doing the same. So first of all, in regards of e-liquid, you could only take with you 100 ml uh, in your handbag. So what I've done is, I've taken um, 90 ml and I put them into individual 10 ml bottles. And I took, and I put some in my wife's hand luggage as well, same idea. So all in all, I think I've got nearly 200 ml of liquid. That should be enough for sure. Uh, and then what I've done is I took the coil master, um, you know, it's like a hard, um, fairly protected travel kit. The inside you've got elastics, you know, that you can secure tanks, mods, um, batteries and it's very pocket, various pockets, so I would have taken with me, but you can take whatever you've got, but what I've taken with me is three RTAs, uh, the Prime, K from Prime, the True Tank, um, and I've taken the Zeta Tank as well. Now, if you watch my review on the Zeta, if already I'm talking about it, I've done a mistake in regards of the pin. The extra pin that is in the little goodie bag is not a squonking pin, it's actually a reduced mouse to long airflow pin. So if you watch my review that I scheduled to be uploaded while I was away, um, so you know that the airflow is quite widely open. You have to close it fairly tight, nearly close fully. Uh, it should become a, pro, a true mouse to long, but this pin apparently reduces the airflow so it becomes more of a mouse to long. You don't have to close it all the way. I'm going to try it on my return. So that's one little thing. So I took the three RTAs. So I took the K from Prime, the True, and the Zeta tank, and I took the Dead Rabbit that I haven't reviewed. Uh, I didn't upload a review about it yet, but I will do in the coming weeks. It's a, a most excellent RDA top top flavor so I took that with me for my fruit flavors in the evenings and I took um, obviously I separated tanks from the mods and I emptied the tanks you don't want to travel with full tanks because they might leak the air pressure in the air the, in the cabin and I took with me um, some extra coils the mouse to long one ohm a round wire and then I took with me a 0 0.3 fuse um, clapton for my dead rabbit um, also I've, ta I've taken obviously the, three, the four batteries now batteries you should never take loose always pack them in the glove and the silicon bag or in the plastic containers you don't want to keep loose batteries uh, and I took with me obviously some spare coils for and I took with me as well sorry hot concentrate in this location um, um, I had the beach deserted this morning but now people are starting to come so it's a bit noisier um, yeah so where was I and I took with me a few uh, stock oil tanks, I took with me the Smok Nord um, and I took with me the Smok Triniton Alpha and I took with me the OBS Mini 
with, uh, and all of them have the 0.6 mesh coil. Now, to the beach, I didn't want to come with a prime because I'm scared the sand will get into the threads of the various components in the prime or in the true tank or in the, in the Zeta. So I took with me the node that is sealed. So sand can't get in. And if it can't, you just pull out and just clean it. So it's very ideal. In here I've got the Ruins Cigar e-liquid from naturallyextractedtobacco.com um, and it's absolutely good in this location, amazing. To be honest, I was a bit nervous if I'll miss my cigars because normally the beach was, I used to smoke quite a lot of cigars, good Cuban cigars, but I find this very Adi adi adequately satisfying. Um, I do miss my cigar, but this is good enough. As for cigarettes, someone is smoking on my right, and I can f smell it, and it disgusts me. So that's one thing I got over. The cigar will take me a bit longer, especially when I come in these locations. So going back to my travel, I uh, took some cotton as well, uh, the Japanese Muji and uh, uh, prime, a cotton prime. Um, and I took with me obviously tools, I took scissors, I took coil cutters, I took a coil rod, uh, I took tweezers to take out change cotton and I took with me a screwdriver. Um, you can see on the thumb uh, thumbnail uh, the picture I've taken from all the gear that I, when I unpacked, I took a photo first. So you can see more or less what I've got there. And I'll put it in the description below as well. But it doesn't mean you have to take the same, same things. It's the idea. So you have an RTA and you have a stock oil and you have an RDA. So like this you have, you cover, your, your cover, you cover yourself from all angles. Um, what else? So yeah, so it was no problem with the travel. Um, there's no problem vaping at all. Uh, they all know what a vaping gear is. In fact, one of them mentioned to me on the security, uh, oh, you're taking your vapors, vaping seriously. I said, yes, indeed. <laughs> and apparently he's also vaping. Um, I think he's using the, what did he tell me? The Enneken uh, beep, beep. I think I reviewed it as well, in fact. So we struck up a good conversation on vaping. That was quite funny. Everyone is waiting there and he's going through my vaping gear. Oh, what's the, oh, this, oh, this, that. I told him, watch my reviews. <laughs> that, was a, that was a laugh. Anyway, I also took with me the smock Triton Alpha uh, for my journey as well, in case I finished my two mil, because I didn't carry the e-liquid with me available. It's in my handbag and I didn't want to take it out. So I took with me two mil here, two mil here. And I knew that should be enough. In case this battery runs out, I have another battery. Um, yep, so that was my vaping um, gear. Uh, what else could I uh, tell you about it? What else did I take that I mentioned? Yep, so I think that was it. The three RTAs, the one RDA, the batteries, the tanks, the coils, cotton, and the tools, and e-liquids. Now, e-liquids I took with me, obviously, naturally extracted tobacco. I took a variation of uh, bestsigliquid.com uh, variety of the new 100% uh, naturally extracted that I will review in the upcoming weeks. I reviewed one, the Balkan, um, that I've got in, the, in this one here. Um, I've, I took with me some good fruit e-liquids for the evenings and I've taken as well some uh, Black Note and the cigar and what else I've taken? Yeah, I think that was it. So I like to have a variety of liquids, variety of flavors, and variety of mods, and all comes in that small master coil uh, carry-on travel uh, bag. It's very good. It's hard surface on the outside, so it protects everything, and it's got elastic, uh, elastic um, inside loops that secure the tanks and the mods. 
uh, what mods I took with. I took with the Wismec CB80, I took with the, another Wismec, um, obviously the OBS Mini mod. Did I mention I took the OBS as well? I took the OBS Mini with a 0.6 mesh coil. Uh, I should have one as a backup in case I haven't got the time to change the coil or whatever. I should always have something in a backup. So in, in essence, I took three RTAs, one RDA, two uh, all-in-one systems and one uh, stock oil mini tank uh, kit. I think that will cover me for the period of time that I'll be here in Spain. Um, if you're traveling, follow the rules of where you travel. Most countries vaping is no problem, except for some countries that, for some absurd reason, illegal to vape but legal to smoke. I mean, come on. It gets, this gets my blood boiling, so I don't want to get into it now. But how on earth could you allow smoking and forbid vaping? Beyond me beyond me. I mean, anyone has got an explanation, I would love to hear it. It's nothing makes sense. Um, uh, what else do I need to uh, cover here in this review in regards of travel? Oh yeah, I traveled this on my travel, on the plane. All my other tanks were empty, but this was full. The only thing I had a bit of condensation uh, inside here. I just wiped it off, put it back in, and it was good as gold. Um, this is perfect for for travel. Uh, I find this much better than the UL Caliburn. It's got a lot more vapor, a lot more flavor. Uh, UL Caliburn also leaks on travel. I had that before on a shorter journey, but this is perfect. And also perfect for the beach as well. As I said, because it's a sealed unit, nothing gets in so I can drop it in the sand no problem I think I covered this review um, in regards of vaping and travel oh do not vape on the plane yes do not vote and I don't know if it triggers the alarm on the plane or not I didn't try it and I don't suggest you try it because you can get into hefty fines and who knows what the whole plane is gonna have to wait till they get you off it so it's not worth it control yourself and uh, if you want to have a stealthy vape elsewhere not on the plane that's fine but in the plane don't attempt to do it okay i hope you enjoy your holiday if you're way and about if not enjoy your vape wherever you are until the next review take care bye bye for now